Hey guys, it's Jimbo here. I get this question all the time. How big of a bankroll should I have? Well, you know, that really is a very personal question, and I'm going to try and answer it for you guys. But the, the first criteria to your bankroll should be one that meets your money management goals as well as your risk-reward tolerance level. I've learned over the 15 years that I've played craps and baccarat, don't be dollar short and pound foolish when it comes to your bankroll. Over the years, I've documented games I've played, and I've been able to come up with a rule of thumb that maybe have helped you. It works for me. If my goal is $500 a game and I'm playing $25 bets, then I should have a bankroll of about $2,000. Uh, that's about four times what my goal is. Um, and that's what I'm using, of course, strategy. But really, you can use any strategy that you have. Um, the next table on the next uh, slide is going to be from my July live casino games using Simple Cheat Sheet. As you can see on that, my average bankroll for the 10 shoes that I played was about $1,800. So... Rule of thumb, if your goal was $500, your bankroll should be four times that or $2,000 if you're making $25 bets or thereabouts. Here's my uh, July Live Casino shoes. As I mentioned, uh, it's a total of 10 shoes that I play every month. I've been testing this cheat sheet out. I call it the simple betting cheat sheet, uh, but I started in December of 2019 making $25 bets. So far, uh, my total is 15000 uh, And you can see I've got a table there that shows you if you had a $10 bet, what it would be. If it was a $25 bet, which is what I was betting, what, what it is, $50 and $100. Uh, so in this particular instance, for July, I had eight wins. I had one loss and one break even using my simple betting cheat sheet. So it worked for me, and I hope this little uh, tidbit on budgets or bankrolls uh, helps you out. If you like it, subscribe. If you're looking for a cheat sheet, go to www.baccarat-cheatsheets.com. And thanks again for watching.